Larry Jenkins saying happy springtime to you, kiddies. You know it's springtime when all the birds of nature are out there, the robins and the orioles and the uh, blue jays and the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. Those are some of the fierce opponents your Pittsburgh Pirates got to take on this year. And of course, we'll all be down there at PNC Park getting drunk at about 8 a.m. next week. As your home opener in the sleet and the rain and the snow is down there, we'll be having a good time. Because your Buccos take on the woo and Atlanta Braves, 1 o'clock. I'll be down there, old Larry Jenkins. Say hello if you see me. One problem, though, you, your Buccos, they don't got the services of one Mr. Young Ho Gung D.I.O. Uh, D.I.O. driver there. Can't seem to get his act together. Can't seem to get a visa, a passport, to get out of there in uh, Korea to come uh, to spring training. No much uh, how much Bob Nuttingly there says, hey, I'm a rich, wealthy man from West Virginia. The Koreans keep going, oh, no, 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 West Virginia. It doesn't mean a hill of beans to them that Mr. Nutting owns every ski resort in the area and the Pittsburgh Pirates and, you know, basically can buy whatever he wants. He can't seem to buy Jung Yo Gung's freedom from their, their DUI charges. So, anyway, let's take a look at this uh, clip about the old Gunger's uh, DUI problems over there in Korea. 미국 프로야구 피츠버그 파이리츠에서 활약 중인 강정호 선수가 오늘 새벽에 서울 강남에서 음주운전을 하고 달아났다가 경찰에 붙잡혔습니다. 네, 추기 전개에서 알아보겠습니다. 이연아 기자. 네, 사회부입니다. 8분쯤 서울 지하철 2호선 삼성역 인근에서 범퍼가 심하게 찌그러져 있는데요. 가드레일을 들이받고 도주한 혐의로 강 씨를 불구수 입건해 조사 중입니다. 지금 보시는 화면이 당시 강 씨가 운전했던 차량의 블랙박스 영상인데요. 하지만 강 씨는 운전을 멈추지 않았고 계속 운전해서 인근 호텔로 들어가는 것까지 확인했습니다. 출동한 경찰에 지금 보신 영상 블랙박스 영상으로 계속해서 저희가 보여드리고 있고 지금 보시는 사진은 강 씨가 당시 운전했던 했던 차량 사진입니다. 당시 충격을 예상할 수 있을 정도입니다. 경찰이 호텔 지하 주차장에서 강씨 차량을 발견하고 검문을 벌였습니다. 경찰 조사 결과 강 씨는 당시 서울 삼성동 진 예, 갑자기 가드레일을 들이받습니다. 앞 범퍼가 부서지면서 파편이 튄 것으로 확인됐습니다. All right, thank you our uh, media colleagues over there in uh, Korea. You know what? Old President Trump he's got no no, uh, he's got no recourse other than to ban the old gunger from entering the states. Okay. Moving on to happier news. Your Pittsburgh Penguins got the services in back of the injured Connor Shifty Sheary, as I call him, old Shifty there. You know, he took that uh, puck to the groin there a couple weeks ago and uh, missed a few skates for obvious reason. But he's back, and the whole city's just in love with the kids. Well, old Shifty Sheary, he's got a look about him. The man has only one look, for Christ's sake. One look? I don't think so. Only. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! It's beautiful. All right. Mayor Padota, Paduti, whatever his name, Judy Paduti down there in, uh, you know, Allegheny County, Pittsburgh. He's the mayor there, and he comes up with these uh, ideas on occasion. Oh, Larry drinks a lot of wild turkey and comes up with ideas, but normally I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, that was a bad one. I throw the paper away, and I move on. But old Paduti there gets some wacky ideas on occasion, like yeah, uh, making the streets unsafe for pet buses, pedestrians, and cars by building bike lanes all over the place. Now he wants to put a Hollywood-type sign up there in the hills of Pittsburgh because, you know, we drink a lot. And, you know, after a Steelers game, you really you come out of the stadium and you don't know where you are. And thank God there might be a sign on the side of the hill that says Pittsburgh. So, you know, oh, I thought I was in Cleveland for a second there. But anyway, our good buddies over at Benstonium have a better few ideas how to put some better signs up there than what old Paduti wants to put the obvious up. Pittsburgh, boy, that's a, you know, 
Yeah, real obvious there what city we're from. I like the Benstonium guy's idea better. Take a look at this one. Philly sucks. Now that's a good sign. I think that's uh, the world needs to hear that one. Considering your Penguins injuries this day, this uh, status report of days without injury, that'd be a good one. Oh, here's one near and dear to all Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Of course, we're all still celebrating the fact that old Phil Kessel, U.S. born citizens, won his Stanley Cup. Let's tell the world. And of course, the most obvious, my friend, instead of that Pittsburgh sign, let's just say it like it is City of Champions! All right, run. Wouldn't be going to a pirate game unless you seen them pierogies do their little race. Around the infield there in between, I don't know, the fifth, sixth inning, whatever they do. So, you know, the Pirates marketing team's always coming up with new and innovative ideas with the pierogies. So they get, it, well, here's a few pierogies that didn't make the cut this year. The guys over at Benstonium got these exclusive uh, photos. These guys came and tried out for the uh, pierogi race this year. They didn't make the cut. The old Jihani pierogi! Hit the road, pal. Back to where you belong, the desert. Now this next one would be near and dear to a lot of those West Virginia fans. The Confederate pierogi! Buckos canned that one, too. This guy has been put on a JV squad. He's got a chance to drink and Steelers fan pierogi! That's Larry Jenkins' favorite. Larry Jenkins saying, have a great week, everybody.